Hey YouTube, it's Teenage Man. I hope you're all having a great day today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the ultimate balloon car. Before we start building, there are three things I should mention that you should put into consideration before building. One, you can't use anything that's meant to be a car. So like a wheel or a Hot Wheels car, can't use any of those. Two, your car needs to have three to six wheels and it can't lift off like an airplane. And lastly, it can't, you cannot interact with it when it's in motion and it has to reach two meters in order for it to be successful. Now that we have the rules out of the way, you need to decide what type of design you want for your car. Do you want a heavy car that is uh, like all the distance is done via the balloon uh, building up momentum off the start and like the momentum is built up and then it takes it the rest of the way, even though the balloon is deflated. Do you want that type of car? Or do you want a very lightweight car that takes it fast off the start, but in the end, it goes slow because there's no more air left in the balloon? That's up to you, but I would recommend uh, deciding now. Here's the first car I built. So it is a cardboard body. I'll have a picture on the screen if you wanna see the materials with these Gatorade bottle cap wheels and then a standard straw. And this was averaging at around 2.1 meters, which is very bad considering that uh, the average is around two meters. So I scrapped this car and went with this car. And uh, it had Gatorade bottle cap wheels and then a styrofoam body with a standard straw. Now, the reason why I put these Gatorade bottle cap wheels on top was because this thing was only averaging around 3.2 meters. And uh, I wasn't satisfied with that. So I took these wheels off and decided to go with uh, Gatorade, or not Gatorade, water bottle, those plastic water bottle cap. I used those as wheels and tried that. And that averaged me at around 5.2 meters. This is the last design I went with, and the reason why I went with this is because think about how much force it took to get that last car going. That's the same amount of force that it took to get it to stop. And if you can use that to your advantage with this car, you can uh, get it going a lot farther. So I went with these CD wheels. They're very aerodynamic, so air resistance won't play a huge role. And uh, what these do is because they have such a larger weight, once you can get them going, it's uh, very hard to get it to stop because although it takes a lot of uh, force to get it going, it's that same amount of force to get it to stop. This is proven in Newton's third law where he states, for every action, there is an opposite reaction. So our first reaction, or our first action is acceleration, and then our opposite is deacceleration. And he says that they both will stay the same even if they are opposites. So I will be changing this car tad I will be adding another wheel to this side that comes out farther so that it doesn't interfere with the balloon or this wheel. And then I also will be doing a second balloon and I think I will be uh, changing this straw diameter to a thicker straw because this thing needs to get going fast and although the balloon can achieve that with this straw, it'll get a lot farther with the other. After changing this design, I was able to get this thing to average around 250 inches which is around six and a quarter uh, meters. So although six and a quarter is not uh, substantial from the last one, the one thing that is substantial is when you add this double balloon, it doubles the distance. So when I added that second balloon, I was able to get it 12.6 meters. If none of these versions work for you, here's a list of materials I think you could still achieve two meters with. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content just like this, like and subscribe.